It's Black Coffee featuring Celeste on that one ready for you. It's uh, Hitsville on your inspiration station and it's also time for MYD Smart. The Ministry of Finance is hosting the 6th Annual Public-Private Partnership or PPP Conference on the 16th and the 17th of June in Vinduk. Public-private partnerships were identified as critical to economic recovery by the government and are a key priority under Harambe Prosperity Plan 2. This year's theme is PPP as a recipe for economic recovery and infrastructure development and joining me in the studio to talk about the importance of the conference is Rauna Mukumangeni, a director of PPP unit from the finance ministry. Good afternoon Rauna and thank you so much for joining us here at 99FM. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Rana, um, let's kick start it off with, you know, the aims and objectives of the Ministry of Finance Public Procurement Unit and how that ties into PPP, into the PPP conference. Uh, well, thank you very much. The directorate's name is the Public-Private Partnerships Unit, and our main existence is to facilitate the participation of the private sector in the, in, uh, in the infrastructure development of Namibia. Mm -hmm. We do that through uh, three main functions, one of them, the first one being uh, the legislative and policy matters, uh, whereby we, um, we, we we, we either facilitate for, we develop, uh, we, we facilitate the development and update of the framework mm -hmm. um, and popularize the act so that projects are uh, procured in consistence with the provisions of the act. Okay. The second one is that we work hand in hand with public entities as they conceptualize, prepare, procure, up to the signing of their PPP projects. And then the third one is that we, um, we, we, we organize for, or we provide capacity building, and uh, we also um, organize workshops and conferences and open discussions. And the PPP conference is one is falling under the capacity building mm. uh, functions. Mm, mm. Rana, for, for those of us who don't know what public-private partnerships uh, are, can you please just define that for us? Well, public-private partnerships are an arrangement through which the participation of the private sector uh, is uh, is done in the infrastructure uh, of in the infrastructure development or develop, uh, provision of assets. And infrastructure uh, and so of. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, about it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> you have to edit out. Yeah, okay, let me start again. Mm -hmm. uh, PPPs are arrangements through which private entity or the pub private sector provides for infrastructure assets and services which were traditionally procured or provided by the government. Mm. The Act has further expanded on to include um, investments and management of these infrastructure assets and provisions to be done by the private uh, entities and for optimal allocation to be shared between the two parties. And then the third the fourth one is that there should be a payment to the private entity based on performance or the availability of uh, the infrastructure assets and services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Rana, the theme this year is, um, you know, PPP as a recipe for economic recovery and infrastructure development. How can public-private uh, partnerships help the Namibian economy to recover? Um... <coughs> Previously, the government has been the only one directly and exclusively involved in the infrastructure, assets development and provision of services. And through PPPs, or, or rather let me say that the pace at which government has delivered these uh, services and assets has not been optimal. And through PPPs, which aim to um, combine experiences, expertise, and underpinned by financial strength of the private sector, better infrastructure and uh, services can be provided. And it's then through that uh, which government uh, leverages on the innovation strength of the private sector to be able to deliver better services 
and to increase access to the infrastructure and uh, better services, which in a way alleviates poverty yeah. and increases economic growth. So infrastructure and uh, availability of, of best of improved uh, standards of uh, services do provide an opportunity to those who would otherwise have been excluded due to either the inavailability of infrastructure or the inaffordability unaffordability of it to the to the to the masses and then in that way um, the the people can be productive and uh, the way that that can also be done is through government strategizing on which best uh, PPP projects to bring to the fore, projects that have economic magnitude, and those can mainly be um, the social projects and proper infrastructure assets. Yeah. Can you please give us some examples around uh, of, of uh, public-private partnerships, successful uh, private, uh, public, uh, pri public private partnerships that have been successful thus far? Yeah, um, let me first start by saying that it's important to note that under the current PPP uh, framework, to date, no single PPP project agreement has been signed. Okay. However, uh, success stories do exist in the Namibian economy. Yeah. Uh, a typical one that I can give you is the city of Vintuk wastewater reclamation plant mm -hmm. in Horianghab. That's where we get our recycled water, the one that we consume in the city. And the other one is the Unam Emona hostel accommodation. And several others have been undertaken by Nam Power in the energy sector. Mm -hmm. Rana, before before we let you go, um, how can one register uh, for the conference? And I understand also it will it can also be viewed virtually. So how can I register if if I want to be physically a part of this conference? And how and where can I watch it online? You can register on the ministry's website. There is an embedded link. Mm -hmm. uh, the conference also has a dedicated um, website. That one I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, 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 the, um, it's available on the ministry's website as well. Okay. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And then, where can we watch it? If I want to see, see it online, we can watch it online. There's no virtual way of seeing it. There is a virtual way of seeing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, just any last words so that you have? It's on the social media and the. the what what is it your systems mm. i don't know on one africa tv mm. yeah all right so just any last words um about this conference why should people uh, register and be a part of it people should register to get an update of on the pvp program in namibia and uh, inform themselves because uh, the economy um has affected all of us yes, true. and we all need to collaborate on how to best uh, recover, uh, mm. reform the economy. So yeah. it's an exciting program lined up and it's to the best interest of everyone who is able to log in and watch to do so. Yeah. All right. Rana, thank you so much for, for joining us to chat a bit about this conference. Will it be the first one of uh, the first? Is it going to be just an annual thing or is it just a once off, once off conference? It's actually uh, an annual conference okay. and this is the sixth the annual sixth one, one. okay yes. all right cool thank you so much again rana for for coming and joining us here on 99 fm Thank you so much for having me. It is a pleasure. And there's, of course, Rauna um, Muku Mangeni talking about the Ministry of Finance um, hosting the 6th Annual Public-Private Partnership or PPP Conference on the 16th and 17th of June 2021. I have more details for you as to where you can register and also where you can view it virtually um, from the uh, 16th until the 17th. So do keep it locked right here at 99.